this area is a little rough, I know. There's some bad people lurking the streets. Around every corner, there might be a knife. Average police response time, do you know what that is? This area is a little rough. Who knows what's prowling around here? Some people think, should I carry a gun? You won't be able to reach it in time. There's no need for the gun. But if you're ever in an altercation in the Seekonk, Massachusetts area, you say a single word. What is that word? Squad. Squad! Squad! Like five dudes will roll up and help you, man. They will like just like kick anyone's ass. Just military precision. Let me tell you another story. You'll like this one. So I was out dining with my bitch the other day and this crazy thing happened. So I was there and I was at like, the waitress was looking at a person behind us in line and she said, I'm sorry, we don't serve colored people at this Olive Garden. I just got so fucking pissed. I just got so fucking pissed, man. Thinking of like how uncool that is. I just see red and everything. It's like I'm hearing kill switch engage. And I just roundhouse kicked that bitch right through the window, right in the parking lot, okay? <laughs> Cops show up, I explain to them what happened. They don't end up charging me with anything. Instead, they give me a purple heart. They give me a medal for my heroism in the war on racism. Okay, I, I swear to you this really happened. I'm sitting there, I'm saluting the cops. They're like, you did good work here. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I could have sworn to you a million dollars that I saw the ghost of Dr. Martin Luther King smiling and nodding at me. And I just knew that I'd done a good thing that day. Nowadays, everyone's like, you know, it's fashionable now to like bitch about airport security, like TSA and everything, what a hassle it is, right? I think it's cool to shit on our nation's heroes. I'm gonna tell you the other side of that story, okay? It's like two sides of the coin type of deal, all right? You ever heard of the Mile High Club, right? Okay, like, let me tell you about how I got into that club, okay? So I was on this flight, I was good, I, I was, I see this flight attendant and I notice she's basically like undressing me with her eyes. So a few psychological tricks later and I'm raw dogging her in the airplane's bathroom. Now you think this is a good story, right? This ends well, didn't end well, okay? Cause what happened next is I started hearing like muffled like Arabic voices in the fucking air vents. My training kicks in. It's like I'm in the battlefield all over again. I go, I check my tactical watch, you know, I get it to translate for me, and I'm thinking, these motherfuckers, these bastards are trying to bring this plane down. That's what I hear them saying, okay? I open palm slam the fucking door to the bathroom open. I come out, I'm doing fucking taekwondo moves on the hijackers and shit like that. They don't know what hit them. I ended up actually fucking killing the pilot because like I couldn't contain my lethality. It's like, a, it's called like a dagger fist technique. It's like, you hold out your hand like this, fucking that, all right? And they don't know what hit him. Cause that's how you, it, the, the fingers go in like a serrated blade underneath their rib cage and pierce the vital organs. I take the flight attendant, I backflip out the fucking door of the plane. And the name of that flight, Flight 93. You may have heard of it. So the next time you want to go and shit on some TSA agents, think of that story. Think of the people who are actually working to save your life. Okay, and think of, think, maybe think twice about running your mouth. Just a thought, I don't know. Fuck. Fucking gas station lighter right now.